Hello, I'm Stan Stoniker with Hub Culture, and we're at the World Climate Summit in Durban, South Africa, against the backdrop of COP17. Right now I'm with Elizabeth Littlefield, who's the president and CEO of OPIC, which is the Overseas Private Investment Corporation from the United States. Uh, tell us, what is OPIC? Okay, so OPIC is the U.S. government's development finance institution, and that sort of means that our role in life is to help channel private capital, especially U.S. private business capital, into emerging markets to help solve development challenges there. So, you know, distinct from Exim, we focus on investments into emerging markets as opposed to exports to emerging markets. So you're, you're helping to kind of um, springboard private capital into all these projects around the world. That's right. We see ourselves as a market catalyst, helping U.S. companies establish, you know, footholds in emerging markets, but at the same time doing so in the kind of sectors that are really going to help those countries advance in infrastructure, in telecommunications, in, all, in food and agriculture, and importantly for Durban, in renewable resources. So we have all these different sectors and obviously the U.S. is a very large market with a lot of very large companies that are looking for opportunities around the, the planet. Mm -hmm. um, but you guys are focused here on um, COP17 and in Durban because you see an opportunity with renewables. So tell me about what OPIC is doing in that area. Absolutely. So we established about a year ago that renewable resources would be our number one sectoral priority. And I'm very proud to say that within a year we've roughly tripled the amount of volume that we're doing in the renewable re resource sector. So this is something to that a billion the U.S. Dollars. is doing that isn't really getting a lot of attention because everyone's kind of focused on maybe some slower action at the political front. But here we yeah. have something that is really tied to the United States that's actually driving real investment. Absolutely. You know, in the business community here, you see a lot of energy in the room. The business community here basically is realizing that if you don't innovate and find ways to reduce energy costs, to be more efficient, and to, to move ahead, you're not going to win. Right. So it's really about differentiation and competition here. And that's why I think there's a lot of excitement in the room. I mean, when, as I say, we did, a, we did a billion dollars in one year in And that renewable. exceeded like what you guys had expected to do. By far, yeah. by far. Uh, and that is all, you know, that's all in emerging markets. So that's a big chunk of the emerging markets uh, investment this year. So, and so frankly, renewables and also are a big part. And also yeah. in every possible sector you can imagine. So. Yeah, so I was just going to say, so renewables are a big part, but the, uh, the remit of OPIC is actually much larger, and it's really looking at overall development. Um, tell me, what things are you finding exciting? Like, maybe within renewables or uh, elsewhere, like, where are the hot spots and where are you guys putting your focus? Well, from a sectoral perspective, let me just stay on renewables for a minute, and then maybe I'll move to the regions. But um, so in the renewable sector, again, we're working with large companies and small companies. We're working oftentimes with the diaspora. So, you know, a, a, an Indian American uh, entrepreneur invests back in India, or an Afghan American investing back in Afghanistan. Large companies, small companies, NGOs, and this, and this kind of entrepreneur. Um, the kinds of sectors were really, really wide ranging, which was very heartening to us. So every region, every sector, from uh, biomass projects using dead rubber trees in L Liberia chop it, chopped up into uh, wood chips for biofuel uh, to a geothermal in Kenya to really interesting solar projects both on grid and off the grid uh, in India and, and in Thailand even a wind project in, uh, in the Caribbean which shifted that country from the first you know, first time ever they've they've had a fuel source that wasn't diesel. Right. So this is a huge. So you're talking about leapfrog technologies. Leapfrog for some technology. Of these places. Yeah, and 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 really significantly reducing the cost of, of energy for the, the citizens there. Right. Okay. But from a, from a regional perspective, we're very keen on uh, working as much as we can in both lo less developed countries mm -hmm. and in countries which are a, a particular foreign policy priority for the U.S. Okay. So right now we'd we'd like to be doing much more in Africa, mm -hmm. and we're focused very much on the Middle East, of course. And right. North Africa. Um, we were really excited last year because we did about 60% of our volume in, uh, in, in lower, to, let, let lower income countries, okay. which, is, which is significant. So that's great. So there is this kind of um, broad remit, but also some, some sharp focus around the projects that you guys are um, supporting and helping to develop. Um, tell me a little bit about how does a company or an organization or an American um, get in touch and sort of get into the, the process of working with a, an organization like OPIC? Because often um, the, the larger institutions yeah, like this are hard to, it's hard to penetrate. Like, where's the door? <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Well, first of all, I mean, there's, there's basically three things we could provide. One is finance. Um, it can be quite long-term finance. It can be uh, uh, quite significant amounts or very small amounts. 
uh, also political risk insurance of all kinds, okay. uh, as well as support for private equity funds. So those are basically the three different kinds of uh, instrument. And frankly, the best way to get in touch with us is, is www.opic.gov. Okay. Um, and that has all the information. That has all the information there, and we have specific business advisors that can help businesses put together business plans that they know will be uh, adapted for OPEC's needs. Okay. But really we want to start with the custo with customers' needs. Yeah. We're very proud of our teams because they're smart, nimble, agile people. Frankly, having tripled our volume in renewable resources Incredible. in 12 months just shows you how, how we're able to turn on a dime. And, and those teams are really able to put together the kind of accommodating structures that investing at the frontier really requires. So Fantastic. I think that people will find us um, for a government agency, very easy and nimble and agile and and, uh, and quick it's to work. Good to see it. it. Sounds like you guys are doing that. And then just last last right. question. Um, so there's a lot of talk this week about um, a, some kind of climate fund, and that seems to be the hope that seems to be brewing here in Durban. Um, what are your thoughts on the, uh, this development of a potential climate fund and the relationship between non-governmental and um, private? Well, I mean, certainly the kind of commitments that we need to have in order to solve the problems that face the planet right now are going to require partnerships between the public and, and the large private capital. sector. A lot of money, and money that's certainly not going to happen from government budgets in today's fiscal fiscal crisis all over the world. But there are very important ways that, that the public sector can catalyze uh, private sector capital. So I'm very optimistic about this. And I just look at the pipeline that we have, having flung our doors open and said we're in this business, we want to do more. Last year, we've seen just a response. tremendous response. And there's now many, many more times uh, more business to do than we have the execution capability uh, to do. So we're, we're, we're limited in terms of our staff resources. Yeah. But there's a huge, lots of companies all over the world are seeing this as a business opportunity. Great. So I have no doubt that these climate funds will see a lot of business. Great. So this is Elizabeth Littlefield with OPIC, and OPIC really just catalyzing climate action. So thank you very much. Thank you. Good Appreciate to see you. Appreciate you stopping in. All right, thanks, thanks a lot.